I'm going to show you my flying geese templates today. It makes flying geese uh, snap and uh, almost no waste. So we have two pieces. This is piece A, and it's going to give me a finished two by four inch flying geese. And this is piece B, and that'll make the sides so they make a match set. You can see my edges are all engineered just like the angle play template, so everything's going to fit together. I'm going to start by cutting the body or the piece A of my flying geese. And so I measure from the tip here to the side over here, it's two and a half inches. So I start with a two and a half inch strip. I've got my adjustable quilt strip ruler here set at two and a half inches. And I can double check the edge here matches up with my cutting edge over here. And uh, you can see how I'm going to eliminate most of the waste. take my template and I make sure I'm missing my uh, selvage there. So I'm going to start right in here and I'm going to go ahead and cut, making sure that I get my little extra edges here. This is where the rotating cutting mat comes in really handy. In there okay like this and then I'll just keep going on and cutting more like so so you can see that all the waste that I have is this little tiny point down here just making sure that I get those cut and now I've got four that quick cut my wings of the flying geese and this is cut two right sides together and then I'm going to measure and it is put it on, you can see it it comes in right at two inches so I'm going to adjust my strip ruler to two inches Now I'm going to cut two of these piece B or wing pieces. Again, uh, matching it up on each edge. The rotating cutting mat comes in really handy to do this. And I go ahead and cut it down, making sure I cut around those engineered tips like that. I get that piece off like that, you can see it. And then I come over here, I do it again. I'm gonna cut that little corner off. And now I've got two that will be opposite so that when I put it with these, they're all going to line up just right. Now, when I want to sew these together, the cool thing about these engineered edges, make sure I've got one there, okay, is when I flip this over, instead of having points that hang out all over, you can see my ends match up perfectly. Let me go sew these together and show you how well that works. The first one over and then I like to press my seams open. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now I've got one on. I'm going to sew the second one on and I again match up the ends there and I sew it. So as you can see, I've got my seam allowance all built in and when I sew these together, I'm going to get those nice points.